Hi everybody, it's Kristen here from the Daly Society. Today, I'm here to bring you another twice as nice episode for some fantastic Christmas inspiration. If that interests you, keep watching and I'm gonna hang this on my tree. Before I get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell to get the alert so that way you won't miss out on any of my new episodes coming out. At the moment I'm trying to get them out twice weekly so you've got as much inspiration as possible to get your Christmas juices flowing and get a bit of inspiration to maybe sew yourself something a bit special for the upcoming holiday season. I've had a lot of comments from people wanting more jersey dresses to sew, mainly because of their convenience as being an easy sew, something quick to make up, um, that you can make in as many different fabrics as possible. You can adapt, put your own little creative spin, and also make something that you can wear again after Christmas. So we don't want to just be going out and buying things just specifically to wear once that time of year and that's all. But if you really want to go all out and make something special just for Christmas, then this is the perfect time to do it. Uh, it's great to let yourself loose and be drawn away by that whole fantasy of Christmas sewing. Today, the twice as nice episode I've got for you in store will be about the Pattern Emporium Spellbound Dress. Now, this has been a, a pattern I've had around for quite a while. I've always looked at it and thought I could do a lot with that because I love a maxi dress um, that you can uh, dress up or down. Um, for me, that the comfort and ease of wearing a knit or jersey garment is just there's so many benefits there but the fact is that they're so easy to sew and so beginner friendly today i'm wearing the spellbound in the maxi variety with a little ruffle sleeve it's a single ruffle you can do a single or a double ruffle sleeve so you can just see there it's a really nice little add-on feature the beauty of this dress is that it's got three different sleeve designs. I think you could even make more than, more than three if that's um, if you're a bit more of an advanced sewist and you want to maybe put a longer sleeve on. Um, the other feature I love is the necklines. You can do a scoop neckline or a higher neckline. This one's a little bit more of a, uh, a higher scoop. This one here on the mannequin is the lower scoop. I've done this one in another nice velour print, which is very festive looking. I love the bright, rich colors of having that, um, the velour with the reds and blues, because it's something I wouldn't normally wear a lot. And to me, you can get away with it at Christmas time. It just seemed a bit more luxurious and special. Uh, velour, as I say, I've sewn before quite a bit of velour. It is so easy to sew, especially if you've got a walking foot. You don't need one, but it's it makes it so much easier because your machine will just sort of glide through the fabric and you won't get any shifting. But being the velour, it's not as big a thicker pile as a normal velvet. So, so I'll put a bit of video footage of me in this uh, maxi dress I've got on now, just so you can see a few of the features. <laughs> The beauty of this dress, the sew, was it was so easy because you are basically sewing it in a couple of pieces. When you get your pattern pieces, you'll get maybe you get a little bit confused with how much variety there is on like the different lines for the scoops, the different sleeves. But once you work that out, I think you'll you'll figure it out. You can either trace it off or sometimes you can even clip around the, the dotted lines and keep it keep the shape of the scoop neckline or the sleeve with the um, flutter sleeve, you'll have the um, sleeves that go in, I think the skinniest uh, version. With the cap sleeve, this one here, it's got a little bit of an extension over the shoulder and you've got the little um, bit of ribbing around there. There's also a sleeveless which goes in even further, more like a tank style. So there's so many variations you can make for this. Um, it calls for just a stretch fabric, a jersey fabric, any kind of like a ponty knit, uh, an ITY jersey. This, this one I've made in a cotton interlock, which I think is lovely to wear because it's comfortable and cool and it's almost the sort of thing you want to wear lounging around the house, but it can take you out to like day or night kind of wear as well, depending on how you accessorize it. Um, that's the beauty of that. I think that you can never have enough cotton rich dresses in the wardrobe. You just need to make sure that when you're washing them, that you're not just hanging them with pegs. You've got to make sure you either hang them uh, flat over a clothes horse or without sort of pinching them with pegs because they can make little indentations when they dry. So you want to really look after that, the cotton and make sure you don't stretch it out 
Um, but yeah, also a cold water wash. And don't forget to pre-wash uh, the fabric before you cut it out too. That's a really important point to remember because cotton rich does have that shrinking percentage in there as well. This one it really didn't shrink much at all. Um, depends on sometimes the quality of the, the fabric that you buy too. So um, don't forget pre-washing is very important. I'm going to pop some video footage of me actually cutting out the pattern in, in the green one here and showing you what I mean about having the one piece because the pattern pieces will come all separate. But it'll show you a little join line in the pattern piece to join the bodice and the skirt together so what you want to do is pop them together or stick them together and when you put them on your fabric you want to cut one whole big piece with a bodice and skirt together you don't want to have that seam line in between because that is what gives you that beautiful sculpted sort of flowy effect of like the a-line effect of the dress so now when you're putting the pattern pieces together on the fabric you need to cut it out as one whole piece so they'll come together as separate pieces and you can see it's just placed on the fold. So what you need to do is um, join them together or pin them or stick them in one piece and then you'll cut around the whole length of the dress as one whole piece. That's really important to give the right line to the, um, to the dress otherwise you're going to have a seam right across the middle there. So take notice of the pattern instructions, they'll tell you where to join them. So when you're cutting them out, that's the thing to keep in mind. So if you've got that seam line in there, you're not going to get that same effect. So be very careful with your cutting. With the back piece, you'll find it has a seam down the middle. Um, this one I've got on actually just decided to fold, do it on the fold. So I'll show you. I did that. Um, so I basically had a front piece and a back piece and two sleeves and the scoop. So how easy is that? It's really a no-brainer. I mean, it's a fantastic thing for a new sewist is to have the less pieces the better and it's not as daunting then as a project to take the, to take on to sew um if you're time poor and you're wanting to get something out really quickly this would be a perfect dress to do that so don't forget the spellbound by patent emporium patent emporium is an australian owned company kate uh, is the head of patent emporium she has got so many exciting new designs coming out one of which is being released just this week it's called the Going Places Dress, and I am really thrilled to be um, purchasing one of these. I'm going to get online tonight after the release tonight. She's put up a little tease video of herself in all the different variations she's made. The Going Places Dress, um, I think, is fantastic because there's a lot of different options for the neckline. She's done two different square necklines, two different round necklines, a ballet, like a boat, almost like a lower boat neck uh, neckline as well. And also the feature at the back that she's got like a lower back with straps. So I was really excited to see this because I've never seen a dress that, that way with a pattern at the back um, going down a bit lower, like with a thicker strap. So very bra friendly, very size inclusive as well. The sizes range from 6 to 22. So it's another knit pattern. And I loved the tulip effect of the skirt, which was a midi skirt um, with the ballet boat neck she had a black version of that I just think would be stunning for Christmas and New Year's so I'm going to hopefully get one of those made up and show you guys just what I mean about um, the, the variations and if you if you want to jump online and have a look at Pattern Emporium and you'll see Kate there modeling all the different um, varieties of that one particular dress so really a great value pattern because you're getting so many different looks um, to me, that's the way to go with the Twice as Nice series. I'm trying to give people the option to see how the same thing looks in different fabric because that way you are getting you know, more value for money. And if you love a pattern, you can really tailor and tweak that to exactly the fit you like. And no, especially making something twice, there's no better feeling than thinking, right, okay, I've made that once. I know what to do and what works. I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to get it perfect. So for me, it's been a bit of a learning curve as well, doing the same pattern twice because I thought it might get a bit boring doing it the second time around. But most of the patterns I've made, I've absolutely loved the fit of them. So to have a second one in that same design is just a bonus to have in your wardrobe. Now, no need to worry if you don't have an overlocker because I've actually made this uh, green one without any overlocker at all. I've done everything with zigzag stitch. I uh, specifically did that because I didn't want to have, um, I've only got black or, or bone stitching on my overlocker. I haven't got back to the store to buy a lot of different colors. So I thought, well, I'll just do it in a zigzag and I'll show you how it's come up. It's actually, um, it's a really, really easy way to do it. And it gives you that stretch as well. 
And um, I just think the zigzag can be like almost like a feature with the stitching. If you get that really nice and neat zigzag stitching line, and especially on the hem too, you won't, you won't get a lot of bubbling and puckering. Um, you'll get that nice smooth flat seam. So I also love the fact that you can adapt the length of these dresses. She's got a lot of different lengths on the pattern piece. You'll see there's a short, a midi, and a maxi. Uh, without having to worry about extending and, and splitting open the pattern and putting because normally when you do that you want to extend the length in the middle of the skirt not at the end because you'll you'll ruin that curve of the skirt so she's given you quite a few options with that as well so yeah as i say i love a midi or maxi dress and also you can wear them to a lot of different events as well so yeah i think the maxi is a, a fantastic way to go if you haven't worn one yet why not try one this is a perfect pattern to begin with so at the moment we're all feeling the fantasy of the christmas season approaching i've got my little pom pudding earrings on um, i love getting to that whole christmas spirit as of course looking at the more luxurious fabrics um, yeah don't forget look at things that you wouldn't normally look at things get out of your comfort zone a little bit and feel around for that um, sort of fantasy fabric I call it so your velours your, your sequins your velvets your satins anything with a texture get inspiration from watching old movies like you know the white Christmas um, with Rosemary Clooney that beautiful red um, fur lined gown um, meet me in St Louis with Judy Garland she's got this gorgeous sweetheart claret red dress with the puff sleeves as well you really can get a lot of inspiration from old Hollywood movies that you can bring into your day-to-day -day life with sewing as so well. So while we're on the fantasy theme I would love you all to have a look I'll put a little gallery together that I found of my favorite picks for the so frosting theme that has already ended which was I think it was till the end of November but we want to keep it going and I think it's just so lovely to see the thought people have put in um, as I say, getting out of their comfort zones and getting something really special that they wouldn't normally wear and showing it in all its glory. So I'm going to put a little bit of a, um image gallery up for you guys to have a look at all my favourite So Frosting 2019. <laughs> enjoyed that and I really hope that's inspired you to look at some glamorous luxurious fabric and it doesn't have to cost you the earth a lot of the stretch for lures um, you can get quite cheap um, and also look on the clearance tables because sometimes people will, will leave things there that they think they can't wear in just their normal day-to-day -day life that you might think you know what that won't cost me the earth if I just try that fabric um, what's the worst that can happen you might be able to salvage some fabric and make something else up so to me it's worth a try clearance racks can be great for beginner sewers as well because they may be too afraid to, to go out and splurge and buy an expensive fabric um, but it's a good way to start their sewing adventure the spellbound dress don't forget look on pattern emporium I'm going to try and get the uh, going places dress made up just to show you guys what you can do because I think a little black dress for New Year's Eve um, everyone needs one of those in their wardrobe or for any time of year I'm hoping we get some nice warm weather here soon so I can wear this cotton interlock dress I think it'd be lovely with a, a nice beach hat and some sunglasses and some little flip-flop shoes or some um, some little wedge heels as well so. I think the spellbound dress is well worth looking at as I say you can get two different looks with totally different fabrics you can really play around with different patterns and planes and don't forget to solid colors and planes can really be adapted to your wardrobe with accessories as well so don't look past the planes and solids i'm trying to bring more of them into my wardrobe because we all um we're all sort of persuaded by a beautiful pattern if, you, if you're attracted to it and you just fall in love with it but i always go back to my basic colored solid things in the wardrobe because they they never date they never go out of style but really lovely in its own right as well so i think just having those two different fabrics can let you see the actual pattern shine through there. 
Thank you to all the great responses, especially to um, the last video, which was the So This Is Vlogmas. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, I think being a vlog post and being a bit more of a natural, uh, almost like a diary post, it gets you out of your comfort zone and people can sort of see the real you behind the scenes and what goes on in your day-to-day -day life. So we really enjoyed watching a lot of those. So if you haven't looked on that, it's Becky Seamstress was hosting that this year. And there's 24 of us that are all um, collaborating on that at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed watching that. And I hope, yeah, you've, you've found some new sewing vloggers to inspire you as well. So if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video. I'm endeavoring to get another twice as nice video out for you guys to see so you can get as much um, creative inspiration as possible to get that sewing happening and maybe make yourself something nice for the festive season. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for all the beautiful comments. I'm really enjoying reading all of those and connecting to the sewing community has been fantastic for me. So I um, hope you can join me next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.